Hello Grade 12s and welcome to the Answer Series Life Sciences videos based on our study guides. In this video we'll look at part one of speciation, in other words the formation of a new species. We'll look at some definitions and the process of speciation with reference to allopatric speciation which is caused by geographic isolation. Part two video will focus on examples of this speciation. First of all we'll look at some definitions. A species is a group of organisms that can interbreed to produce fertile offspring. For example, an Indian elephant cannot interbreed with an African bush elephant, which cannot interbreed with an African forest elephant, as they are three separate species. Species is a man-made definition, however, so it doesn't always work out exactly as defined. As long as organisms can interbreed to produce fertile offspring, then they are considered members of the same species. Speciation, or the formation of new species, affects biodiversity. Speciation increases biodiversity because it increases the range or the variety of organisms on Earth. Extinction, on the other hand, decreases biodiversity because it decreases the range or the variety of the organisms on Earth. So the more species, the more biodiversity. Another definition we have to know is a population. A population is a group of similar organisms of the same species living in a particular area at a particular time with the ability to interbreed and produce fertile offspring. Gene pool and gene flow are another two definitions that are connected to populations and we'll look at them in the next two slides. A gene pool is the total number of alleles of all reproductive individuals in a particular population. For example, this yellow butterfly may contribute its alleles, big Y, big Y, or if it's heterozygous, big Y, small Y, into the gene pool. A blue butterfly, on the other hand, will contribute small y, small y, into the same gene pool. Gene flow, on the other hand, refers to the exchange of alleles between populations. So if a yellow butterfly moves from population y to population x, then its yellow alleles or genes join the gene pool of population x. A blue butterfly moving from population X to Y brings its blue alleles into the gene pool. So gene flow involves the migration or the movement of genes in the individuals between populations. This increases the gene frequency in these populations. We explain the definition of reproductive isolation in this video, but we'll discuss it in more detail in video 12. When speciation occurs, the new species and the ancestral species can no longer interbreed. Because there's no gene flow, there's no interbreeding. Species A and species B are isolated in terms of reproduction because there's no gene flow. This is known as reproductive isolation. Reproductive isolation can occur when the two species are separate, in separate areas, separated by a geographical barrier. We call this allopatric speciation because allo means other. Or when they occupy the same area, this is known as sympatric speciation because sim means together or the same. We've already covered the process of speciation but we'll refresh our memories here. There's variation in a population, natural selection in the process of evolution selects the beneficial traits to enable adaptation of these selected individuals. The group of the best adapted individuals are then isolated reproductively from the original species. So this prevents interbreeding and it results in the formation of a new species. So in this population of species A, there's variation, Butterflies with a beneficial mutation are selected by natural selection as they're better adapted to survive. They develop independently, become reproductively isolated from the original species to form new species B. We'll first do a quick overview of the two types of speciation that we mentioned earlier. Firstly, allopatric speciation, where a population is split into separate areas by a geographical barrier. 
like a mountain or a lake or a river or a road. This geographical barrier separates the population and each group is exposed to different conditions. Different characteristics will be beneficial in the different environments on either side of the barrier. Eventually, over a period of time, different species will form. There will be no gene flow between the two as they are reproductively isolated. A quick review then of the other type of speciation that we'll look at in more detail in video 11. Sympatric speciation occurs in the same area where there is no barrier, where the species are together. A group of organisms undergoes changes that makes them different to species A over time. Eventually, there's no gene flow, they're reproductively isolated, and speciation occurs to form a new species B. Let's look at allopatric speciation in more detail. This formation of a new species occurs because of geographic isolation. If you think of allopatric speciation, you must think about a barrier. It's a form of reproductive isolation. Allo means other, and patria means land or country or area. So we have a new species being formed, for example, A to B, where populations are separated by a barrier. This is known as geographic isolation. So they develop separately in different environments on either side of the barrier. There's no interbreeding. They eventually become reproductively isolated. There's no gene flow. In other words, there are no individuals moving between the populations and sharing genes, so they can't reproduce. Different barriers could be roads or lakes or deserts, volcanoes or lava flow, oceans, mountains, valleys or rivers, etc. If these populations don't meet, they don't mate, they become separate. So, in each population there will be different mutations that lead to different alleles or genes which contribute to different gene pools on either side of the barrier. The different environments on either side of the barrier will exert different selection pressures on its population, like higher temperatures or more predation or lack of water, etc. Natural selection occurs independently in each area and different characteristics are selected as beneficial for each particular environment. Different phenotypes and genotypes are expressed by the new gene pools. This means that there are different adaptations in each environment. If the populations are able to mix again, there will be no interbreeding because there's no gene flow because they've become too different. So we have a new and a different species forming. This is what we call speciation. If we look at another diagram to illustrate the same process of allopatric speciation, species X is split into two by this barrier. Different populations experience different environmental conditions on either side of the barrier. Natural selection occurs independently in population Y on this side, resulting in the formation of a new species Y. Or if we look at this diagram, species B forms from the ancestral species A due to this geographical barrier. It undergoes unique mutations and unique natural selection in its different environment until no interbreeding or gene flow occurs and we have the new species being formed. This is known as reproductive isolation. This slide is a flashback to our earlier overview video showing another illustration of allopatric speciation with the original ancestral species covering mountains and valleys. If the mountain peaks for some reason become a barrier, then the isolated populations may undergo different natural selection processes in their different environments to form new species. Or if the mountain valleys become uninhabitable for some reason, then the isolated populations on the mountain peaks may experience different environmental conditions and may become a new species. A common example of geographic isolation causing allopatric speciation is Darwin's finches on the Galapagos Islands. They experienced different conditions in their different islands separated by the ocean barrier, but we'll discuss this example 
in the next video. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.